So we left off with um, nobody looking at me, as in Khan, as if he was going to turn him it, with a glare on his face, like he wants to turn him into a frog. That's what the main character thinks upon noticing that glare. Yeah, Yabai. Like, no. Mm, Yabai, bad. Danger. Ach, this is bad. No, Yabai. no good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bye. No good. So, so perfect, perfect. Um, do you remember how to read this kanji? Do spread. Um, like jam, or bata. Noodle. Hi, perfect. Um, no. kakaeru is to be burdened with something. Kakaeru, and it's the same kanji from like to hug. I think kakaeru to be burdened with. So theoretically, but it, but it. you've seen this kanji before. It's kakaeru. Can you read the sentence for me? Wermeto ga mondai o kakaete iru. Um, is burdened with a problem. Perfect. Do you know how to read this kanji? Um, to something to yep ni um fun kan ni motu ni butu ni motu ni motu you know what ni motu is like luggage hi hi luggage perfect here we um, uh, dosari is a sound effect that means it could be a sound effect like a thud but it can also just mean a lot. So it's like a lot of something is sound effect. Dosari. So this is a small two. Dosari. Um, can you read Dosari. this part that is in the bold? Wermetto ga mondai o kakaete irukoto. There's um, there's a problem with what a med uh, being burdened with a problem. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, so the let's thing, go. The yeah. thing of what the, a med. The, thing, the, the, the fact. It's kind of how I try and tend to translate Koto when I see it randomly. The fact that what a met is burdened with a problem just tends to be how I analyze it. But it's basically just a nounalizer. In this context, it's kind of like a vent nounalizer. So. The fact for me personally tends to work very well when I have kotos and sentences. Um, yeah, it's not super important. Right. Yeah, now you get to go read the line from the book. Oh, no, Toki. You tell me. Um, Namimotsu. Nimotsu. Hi, Nimotsu. Nimotsu. Hi. Can you read this word for me again? Ryoten. Ryote. Hi, hi, hi. And how about this word? Ashioto. Perfect. Hi, hi, hi. So, what do you think is happening? Sono toki. And then we have a relative clause describing Bennett. Bennett. At that, that time, um, um, do, 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 tsari, do, tsari, um, kakata, kakaeta. What does this mean? With both hands holding on the luggage, 
basically or burdened with luggage burdened uh, hi Burnett. Burnett was burdened with Burnett. luggage in both hands how much luggage was he burdened um, with okina dotsari a lot right dotsari a lot hi 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 okina asa oto o tatete um there's the sound of there's the sound of footsteps hi it's, it's a loud sound so so kaidan o sagari de kita oh your first get it's it's a ori ori do i'm sorry i ori de ori de kita i didn't notice if you said hasa last time so ori do means to descend sagaru sagaru has a different meaning that makes it a little bit easier to remember them Weirdly enough, is that sagaru is not to go down. Sagaru is like to take a step back, backwards. It's like to retreat almost, sagaru. And oriru, with an o, is to go down. So since we have kaidan, we can assume I didn't walk backwards onto the stairs. We can assume I probably went down the stairs. So that can kind of help to know that it's o rather than sa. Because sa means going backwards. So theoretically, you can say kadano sagatte kita, but that would literally mean I'm walking backwards down the stairs, which children sometimes do. They'll do their little, aha, I can walk down the stairs. Watch me, daddy. Aha. Um, and then that's that's when you can use that. Right. So there's a sound coming down the stair. Hi. What do you think the who who came down the stairs? Neto, I'm guessing. Hi, hi, hi. No Neto need to guess. Guitar, he has the part. Here. He has ga right here, right? Neto ga. If you're wondering right. whether or not this is subject ga or sentence ga, which is but, sentence ga goes at the end of sentences, and nouns are not the end of sentences. Nouns are not actually allowed to end sentences in Japanese. That's why we use da to mark that a sentence is done. So if it says Benetto da ga then that ga would be but because da is attached to benetto marking that benetto is the end of some kind of sentence idea end of a clause so in japanese nouns Hi. cannot end clauses which makes it really easy to tell um if you're doing like same with like kara so if you see kara after a da that means it's after a sentence versus if you see kara directly touching a noun it's after a noun so that can help you know that this ga is um na the topic sub the subject ga the doer of the sentence hi so yep so Bonnet who is burdened with a heaping load of luggage in both his hands he at that time made some loud footsteps and went down the stairs toward where I am I am below the stairs um do you ever had to read this kanji Hiroi. Hi, Hiroi. Perfect. How about this bolded section? Nebri wa teppan ga eranatsu tsuba hiro no goshi wo kabutte. Nebri put on a uh, boshi, a head with a wide uh, tsuba, with a wide rim. Mm. And uh, it's um, hairana, it's flat. What is flat on the hat? Wide rim. Tsuba. Tsuba is flat. Sadly, no. The thing that's uh, flat, te flat te is a tepen. So originally when I taught you this sentence, I did tell you that's what I meant. <laughs> and for that, I greatly apologize. I did send you an email about this. Um, but what's going on is that there's a couple of not adjectives in Japanese that actually take ga as like almost as if this not adjective is a verb. And we've seen this before in the book, but I can't remember what um adjective it was. Um, but this this is something that is 
relatively common and that but I didn't notice it in here. So it's saying the teppen is flat. The teppen means the top of something. So this means the top of the boshi is flat. So nobody's not wearing a pointed witch's hat with a wide brim. He's wearing more like a fedora. Some kind of hat with a wide brim oh. and a flat head. Um, yeah, I'm happy I got a chance to point right. this out to you. I, I tried explaining it in text, but it probably got lost. So it turns out that for whatever reason, there was a glitch um, with the, the Zoom meeting. So we actually have to stop again and reopen the Zoom meeting. This time it should work. So I'll be seeing you in two seconds.